Have you ever been transported back to a simpler time in American history while watching a TV series? The Waltons, a beloved show that originally aired in 1972, did just that for many viewers. Set against the backdrop of the Great Depression and World War II, this heartwarming family drama provided a glimpse into the lives of the Waltons, a close-knit clan living in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. While it's easy to appreciate the show's strong sense of family values and its portrayal of the challenges and triumphs of everyday life, some might also remember it for the presence of classic Hollywood actors like Ralph Waite and Richard Thomas. These talented individuals brought depth and authenticity to the characters they portrayed, making them favorites among the show's fans. As we reflect on this timeless series, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the Waltons. Did the show inspire you in some way, or do you have fond memories of watching it with your family? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, let's journey back to Walton's Mountain, a place where the spirit of togetherness and the lessons of life continue to resonate with viewers, even decades after the show first aired. What's your connection to the Waltons? Share your stories and memories with us. The Waltons, a beloved TV series that ran from 1972 to 1981, is a heartwarming portrayal of a close-knit family living in rural Virginia during the Great Depression and World War II. Created by Earl Hamner Jr., the show was inspired by his semi-autobiographical novel Spencer's Mountain and a previous film adaptation. At the center of the series is the Walton family, with John and Olivia Walton as the loving parents and their seven children, including John Boy, the eldest, and aspiring writer Mary Ellen, Jason, and others, each with their unique personalities. The show's distinctive style is characterized by its strong sense of family values, moral lessons, and the use of introspective journal entries by John Boy, narrated by the author, which added a unique storytelling element. The Waltons had a significant impact on popular culture, emphasizing the importance of family bonds and community support during challenging times. It received critical acclaim and won multiple Emmy Awards, resonating with viewers for its timeless themes and relatable characters. The show's enduring legacy continues to inspire family-oriented TV series and has left an indelible mark on the hearts of its fans, making it a classic in American television history. In the 1972 TV series The Waltons, a notable change occurred when Richard Thomas, who played the role of John Boy Walton, left the show after the first five seasons. His character was taken over by Robert Whiteman. However, it's interesting to note that Richard Thomas made a few guest appearances on the show after his departure. This transition marked a significant shift in the series, as John Boy was a central character in the Walton family. Additionally, during season 9 of the series, Ralph Waite, who portrayed John Walton SR, did not appear in at least two episodes. In one of these episodes, titled The Genius, it was mentioned that he was working in Norfolk. This absence of a key character temporarily altered the dynamics of the show. It's worth mentioning that series creator Earl Hamner Jr. wrote the novel Spencer's Mountain, which served as the basis for the Waltons. The show drew inspiration from the semi-autobiographical novel, and its themes and characters were influenced by Hamner's work. These facts highlight some of the changes and influences that shaped the 1972 TV series The Waltons, making it an interesting and enduring part of American television history. It's a testament to the show's ability to adapt and evolve while staying true to its roots. Ellen Corby, a beloved actress in the 1972 TV series The Waltons, faced a significant health challenge during the show's run. She suffered a stroke that temporarily forced her to leave the series, with some viewers speculating whether her later appearances were straining her health or aimed at boosting falling ratings. However, her castmates consistently asserted that she enjoyed being back on set, and her work on the show helped her in her recovery. This real-life drama added a unique dimension to the series, showcasing the resilience and dedication of both the actress and the show's production team. The Waltons, set in Virginia's Blue Ridge Mountains, had its own share of behind-the-scenes challenges and triumphs, making it an enduring part of American television history. John Ritter's departure from the Waltons after the 1975-76 season marked a significant change in the series. 
He left to take the lead role in Three's company, and while that decision brought him success, he expressed regret about leaving his role as Reverend Fordwick. This shift in the cast had an impact on the dynamics of the show, as Reverend Fordwick was a recurring character in the series, and his absence was felt by both the characters and the viewers. It's a testament to the show's lasting impact that even the departure of a single character could leave a significant mark on the series. This change was part of the evolving story of The Waltons, a show that captured the hearts of its audience with its portrayal of a close-knit family during the Great Depression and World War II. In the 1972 TV series The Waltons, there's an interesting fact about the actor Ralph Waite, who portrayed John Walton SR. In real life, Ralph Waite was a licensed minister, which is quite different from his character on the show, who rarely attended church. This real-life background as a minister helped him assist John Ritter in his role as Reverend Fordwick on the series. This fact sheds light on the interesting contrast between the actor's personal life and his on-screen character, showcasing the depth of the actor's backgrounds in the series. It's one of the intriguing facets of The Waltons, a show that captured the hearts of its audience with its portrayal of a close-knit family during the Great Depression and World War II. The Walton House from the 1972 TV series The Waltons wasn't actually located in the rural Virginia it portrayed. It was situated in the northern section of the jungle area of Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank. Walton's Mountain, visible from the house's porch, was a slope of the Hollywood Hills south of the studio. Interiors were filmed on stage 26. The house was later moved to the Warner Bros. ranch lot and used in other shows. Not everything was as it seemed in the world of the Waltons. Wilgier died after filming had ended for the 1977 to 1978 season. His character, Grandpa Walton, died during the next season. In the world of the Waltons, family bonds, and the close-knit relationships of the characters were central to the show's success. But behind the scenes, the show faced its share of challenges and changes, including the loss of a beloved character. Wilgier, the actor who portrayed Grandpa Walton, passed away after the 1977 to 1978 season had wrapped up. This was a significant moment in the series, and it had a profound impact on the Walton family. Grandpa Walton was a beloved and wise character in the show, providing guidance and support to his grandchildren and the entire family. His passing was not only a loss to the characters within the series, but also to the viewers who had grown fond of his presence. In the next season, the show addressed this loss by incorporating the death of Grandpa Walton into the storyline, allowing the Walton family and the audience to mourn and remember this beloved character. The transition and handling of this real-life loss within the series reflected the show's commitment to authenticity and its ability to connect with its audience on a deep emotional level. It demonstrated the enduring impact of The Waltons as a TV series that not only portrayed a close-knit family during challenging times, but also dealt with the real-life challenges that arose during its production. The legacy of Wilgier and his portrayal of Grandpa Walton continue to be an integral part of The Waltons, reminding us of the show's ability to evoke genuine emotions and resonate with its audience, both on and off the screen. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of The Waltons, a timeless TV series that has touched the hearts of generations, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this beloved show. In the serene backdrop of rural Virginia, The Walton family's trials and triumphs resonated with audiences, weaving a tapestry of nostalgia and life's enduring values. Perhaps it's the gentle wisdom of John Boy, the steadfast love of Olivia, or the resilience of each Walton family member that left an indelible mark on your heart. Maybe it's the echoes of the goodnight routine or the backdrop of the Great Depression that transports you back in time. No matter your favorite aspect, the Waltons has a unique ability to elicit emotions and memories that are truly special. So, I encourage you to share your treasured memories and thoughts about this series. Let your words flow as you reminisce about the moments that made you laugh, cry, or reflect. Discuss the characters who felt like old friends and the life lessons that have stayed with you. 
Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your connection to the Waltons enriches the legacy of this timeless show, reminding us of the enduring power of family, love, and resilience. Your thoughts are appreciated and your presence valued. Thank you for your time and interest, and remember, it was all 